Welcome to NHL 20, and thanks for tuning in. Today, we are going to learn how to chop the puck. Now, this is kind of cool. Uh, there is a little slight difference between the PS4 and the Xbox One. We're going to get into those uh, specifics a little later on. We're obviously going to start with the PS4. One thing you're going to notice is that we're in our zone, and we are clearing it out. There's a cool feature about this. Here we have the puck. Our goalie gives it to a defender. We clear the puck out. If you'll notice, the defender beats us to the puck. No icing is called. That's one of the cool features about this versus, you know, dumping the puck or passing the puck is that you clear it across the ice and uh, icing is not called. So something to keep in mind, this only applies to chopping the puck. All right, we're in practice mode. Now the mechanism for chopping the puck, of course, is to press this R3 button or the right analog stick in and then move it in whatever direction you want. If you'll notice we're doing that right here and nothing is happening. Why is that? That's because we have possession of the puck. You have to do it when you do not have possession of the puck. So here we move the puck over there. Okay, we skate up the puck. We want to chop it up. We go like that right there. And just in case that went a little too fast, we've got a nice slow motion replay here. So you can get the hang of it before we move into the next example. Okay, we'd like to chop the puck backwards. What we're going to do is we're going to skate up to it and we're going to push this in and then push it down. So let's do it in sequence here. In, down. And it chops it backwards just like that. And once again, just in case that was a little too fast, we've got a slow motion replay again. We're pushing down R3 and then pushing the right analog stick down. Got to do it fast in real time before you get to the puck, of course. Okay, this time we want to chop it the opposite way. We're going to skate up to the puck. We're going to push it in and chop it. No, we didn't time it. Yeah, we did time it right. Yes, that's right. Timing is always critical to being successful in executing moves like this. And, of course, we've got a slow motion replay to help you out. Now, there are uh, two different examples I'm going to show next. One is when to and one is when not to try this move. Here is an example of when chopping the puck up is probably not the best option. As you can see, our opponent dumps the puck into our zone and we are going for the puck. If you'll also notice, there's nobody near us. What does that mean? That means we have time to do other stuff other than chop up the puck. And you can see we get a turnover right there. We could have done a lot of other things with the puck, but we decided to turn it over. In this example right here, chopping the puck is a much better choice because we have a defender closing in on us. We got to avoid a hit and get rid of that thing before something bad happens. Here we chop the puck and we happen to get lucky and complete a pass to one of our teammates and we get the puck out of our zone, of course. Okay, we know how to chop north-south. Let's uh, look at some examples of how you can chop east-west. Okay, this time what we want to do is we want to chop the puck to the left. We're going to skate up to it. We're going to push this button in right here, and then we're going to move it to the left. So here we go. And we successfully chop it to the left. And again, here's a slow motion replay to just help you get a better feel for what exactly you need to do to uh, execute this move properly as we are able to chop to the left right there. In this next example, we are going to learn how to chop it to the right, which can be very effective in keeping possession of the puck in our own end. So uh, let's go ahead and get started here. What we would like to do right here is chop the puck to the right. What we're going to do is we're going to press this in and then move it to the right. So here we go. We're going to skate up to it, chop it in to the right, and off it goes. So in a nutshell, that is how you chop the puck for the PS4. Make sure, of course, you move the right analog stick to the direction that you want to chop it to. That is, of course, after you pushed in the R3 button. Now let's go ahead and shift gears and look at uh, how this works for the Xbox One. This move is listed the same for both offense and defense, just like it is for the PS4. So let's see how you do it. 
What you're going to want to do is, if you see where it presses down R, that's uh, this right analog stick right here. That's when you see the press down R. If you'll notice, there is a R thing on to the right of that. What that means is, if you want to go in a certain direction, you're going to go like this. Press it in, and let's say we go, go to the right like that, or press it in, go up, press it in, go to the left, or press it in, go down. So basically, you just press it in and then hit it whatever direction you want. So you want to chop the puck, press this R stick in, and then push it in any direction you want, and that will allow you to chop the puck however you see fit. One of the cool things about chopping the puck is that we do not get called for icing. The key thing you have to make sure is that you do not have possession. Here the goalie passes the puck. We don't have possession. We chop it. The puck goes up ice. We get to it first, pass it back, and we get lucky with a nice little goal right there. And that is going to ramp up the tutorial portion of this video. If you're looking for more NHL tips, you may want to consider checking out uh, the playlist at this channel titled NHL 20 Tips. It's got all kinds of different offensive and defensive tips to help you get better at this game. And uh, that, of course, is going to wrap this up. I am signing out. Thank you for watching, and good luck.